Hello, this is Frank of the Twelve Gates. As promised, we're going to be looking at Revelation 4.1.2, but more in connection with when does the church age end? There's some theory out there that the church age ends when St. John the Divine goes up in the clouds. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I've made a video on this, on Revelation 4.1.2, and I've also talked about the seven candlesticks and some people say that the seven candlesticks become the seven lamps watch that video i disproved that so i'm not here to do that i'm not going to repeat myself but let's re read this revelation 412 because a lot of these pre-tribbers they think this is the rapture let's have a read of it and you can see why but revelation 412 after this i looked and behold a door was opened in heaven and the first voice which I heard was, as it were, of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. That is the key phrase, yeah. And it's confirmed in Revelation 1. Revelation 4, 2. And immediately I was in the Spirit, and behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. Apparently that's the rapture, yeah. I mean, just reading it, you can see it's not the rapture. Yes, there's a trumpet mentioned there. And St. John the Divine goes up. Yeah. But how they, the, the, just in isolation, that isn't the rapture, is it? Where's the dead being raised first? Where's the living going afterwards? You know, it, 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 it's, they, they say it's a representation of the rapture. I think, okay, it's a representation of the rapture. But there's nothing here confirming what Paul said, is it? Not really. And there's a trumpet there. But this is confirmed by the seven candlesticks, which are the seven churches. They suddenly become the seven lamps or the seven spirits, which is mentioned up in uh, afterwards. I think Revelation 4, 5, is it? Yeah, seven lamps, Rev Revelation 4, 5, I suggest you read it. That's, the, that's confirmation number one. And secondly, if you type into your Bible app, um, church, the church is no longer mentioned after that never again you know and the revelation is the last book yeah and they say those two things are the confirmation that that is the rapture of saint john the divine going up in the clouds that represents the church going up confirmed by that seven lamps yeah i've i've shot down the seven candlesticks the seven lamps i've shot that down and basically the other thing that they're talking about that's what we're going to look at that the, the church age finishes the church is no longer mentioned we are up anything that happens after that is we're not here yeah anybody that's mentioned is new people that come into the faith or something like that you know i think oh come on please I mean, at the end of the day if we go into revelation one yeah let's read revelation one four what does it say john to the seven churches which are in asia grace be unto you and peace from him which is and which was and which is to come and from the seven spirits which are before his throne yeah i read this bit again from him which is and which was and which is to come yeah and this is what the theme that runs throughout revelation it is revelate mentioned in revelation 4 1 2 wasn't it yeah something about the time hereafter yeah it's the time that, that was, the time that is, and the time that is to come. That's what Revelation is all about. You can say Revelation 1 is the introduction. Revelation 2 and 3 is um, is what was. Yeah. Looking back over time, the, 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 the church is, you know, their track record. And they look at, you know, some were good, some weren't so good. But what churches are being talked about? Some people say this is the churches of the church age the different seven the seven different ages of the church no it's talking about it says what do you read what the bible says it says the seven churches in asia minor doesn't it that's what they're talking about yeah if that's what they're talking about they talk about that in the first three chapters st john the divine goes up into the clouds that's not the rapture yeah that's just st john the divine going up in the clouds in the spirit after that the church is no longer mentioned because they've finished talking about the church haven't they the letters have been written yeah you've got to remember people that the church people that are in the faith they're called followers they're called believers they're called apostles they're called disciples they're called saints they're called christians in the antioch times isn't it not much of that mentioned after that is there 
yeah? And there's the church. And there's other names out there as well, yeah? The, another one is those written in the book of life, of the Lamb slain for the foundation of the world, yeah? Anybody is, if the book of life is mentioned, that's believers, isn't it? Believers, true believers, yeah? They are written in the book of life. That's that. If we go to Revelation 1, 18 to 19, it's confirmed what I'm talking about here, that Revelation is about what was, what is, and what is to come. And as I said, Revelation 1 is the introduction. Revelation 2 and 3 is what was, the church is. Yeah, he's talking about that. Revelation 4 and 5 is what is. He goes up in, and he sees heaven, doesn't he? He's up there at the throne. He sees everything, those two verses. Revelation 6 onwards is what is to come. And it's mentioned in Revelation 4 too, isn't it? The hereafter. If we read Revelation 1, 18 to 19, Revelation 1, 18, I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore, amen, and have the keys of hell and of death. Revelation 1, 19, write the things which thou hast seen. He's instructing John, yeah? St. John the Divine. Write the things which thou hast seen. This is Jesus talking. And the things which are and the things which shall be hereafter. And that is basically it, people. And it just shoots down this pre-trib theory that Revelation 4, 1, 2 is the rapture. It's not the rapture. It's just St. John the Divine going up in the clouds. But when you go throughout Revelation, if you read the fifth seal, I suggest you read that. I'm not going to put it up on the screen. Who are these people? Revelation 7. These are the ones that came out of great tribulation. Who are the ones that are mentioned in Revelation 13, 7, 13, 8? It mentions the word saints. It's not the church, but it mentions the saints. You think, oh, it's probably... It's, some, it's some, something else. It's not us, is it? But when you read Revelation 13, 8, I'm not going to put it up on the screen. I've done it so many times. Read it for yourself. What does it say? Yeah, That's us. The people that are written that book who's the ones in revelation 13 that, that, who get killed because they don't take the mark who are the ones that are mentioned in revelation 24 they're in the millennial kingdom yeah and they've been beheaded for his name's sake who are all these people it's the church isn't it yeah the church is no longer mentioned because they finished talking about the seven churches of asia minor yeah so all this nonsense about candlesticks turning into lamps the seven lamps i'll just summarize what i said in that other video the seven lamps, there's only one other time that the seven lamps are mentioned, and that's when Moses builds a tabernacle, and it's in the Torah, yeah? Go and read it. Go and type in your Bible app, seven lamps, and you'll see where it leads you. So these seven lamps, they've been there all along, and they were there before St. John the Divine went up there, and, they, and when he came back down, he went into the wilderness and saw the harlots, Mystery Babylon. They were still there. It's not the church, is it? Anyway, that's it, people. That's the end of that video. Leave your comments below. It's just, I'm just reading the Bible for what it is. It's not a theory. I just accept it for what it is. I don't try to see things that are not there. And that's it. We're still down here, you know. And that's the truth. And that's the trouble. You know, when you start looking at these pre-trib theories and look at what they're preaching, it falls apart like a cheap suit. You just pull a couple of threads and the whole thing just disintegrates, doesn't it? And it's, it's quite easy. I've just done it with three or four verses. Yeah. And that's it on that one. Anyway, this is Frank of the 12 Gates. Keep your eyes firmly fixed on the Lord, people, I keep saying. And keep your eyes firmly fixed on the word. Will you please keep it firmly fixed on the word? I've just read what it's saying. You can see what I'm saying, but people just don't. They want to see something that isn't there. And when you start going down this route, it ends up getting so convoluted. And all it takes is one person like myself to put, pull out a couple of the threads and this thing just disintegrates. Yeah. Peace, love and joy, if you can find it in these times... And people, be aware of your surroundings. Be aware of the times that we are in. If this is the last days, check where you're getting your news from, yeah? Don't get it from Auntie Ethel's Facebook page, for crying out loud, all right? 
don't get sucked into these conspiracy theory cults and which is pre-tribulation rapture is isn't it you know damn these rabbit holes everybody is just shouting and screaming the same thing you think well all these people are saying the same thing it must be right and then somebody like the 12 gates comes along and says look this revelation 412 is complete garbage the church is, is still here we're still down here it's just it's called something different it always has been hasn't it <laughs> anyway i'll catch you in the next video people and be safe and i'll catch you in the next one hopefully <laughs>